Sorry guys, my battery dinkin died. My battery dinkin died. My battery freaking died. So I'm gonna wait maybe for people to come back. Um, hopefully you'll come back and check it out. Check us out uh, with the unboxing of the new Milwaukee Packout system. Uh, people have been waiting for this for years. Um, it took a long time, but I think uh, Milwaukee hit a home run Brian Fuller uh, Grand Slam. Um, you know, the toughness, uh, the durability, um, just the overall, you know... The construction of it is just, I think they did a hell of a job. Uh, obviously, they got totes also. Everything is one system. Grand Slam, right, Luke? Robert Neal needs it. Must get for A. Coppin. Logan P. They did a good job designing it. I think they did also. Colin DeSoto. What's up, brother? So, I got some battery. We got the uh, Makita power source here. I got a little bit of a cord. So we can have some fun. I'm glad everyone came back. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. Thought we'd have some fun with it. Um, you know, these live videos are great. They're easy. Um, I don't have to do all kinds of editing and stuff. We can just go chill. Have a good time. Uh, grab a, your favorite cold beer uh, or beverage or soft drink. Um, I enjoy Mellow Yellow. I don't know about you, but... Okay, so let's take a look. Um, as you see, each little box, you got a beautiful handle. You got some metal clips here. Real simple. Boom, boom, boom. Right here, each box has a little hole type. Now, this is your lock system. It's your lock and release. Uh, the arrow, obviously, is pointing up, so you just push up like so and pull and you're good to go uh, it's in a great location right by the handle you know you got your handle right here you're gonna kind of grab it with your hand all you're doing is before you grab the handle like so you're just gonna insert your thumb or whatever you would like right in there and pull out and it's released so we'll leave it on there for now we'll take a look inside again you have some more trays in here Again, um, you know, what's good about the top is, you know, wow, I like that. It'll stay just like that. Um, you know, it's not going to, you know, collapse down unless you probably want it to. But oh, I'm going to move my little thing over. Uh, you got some bigger compartments here. Again, nice durable plastic. What's great about these trays, guys is on the work site on the job site uh whatever you're doing you got your screws you got your nails you can hang these up obviously um you know you could put these on the wall um we're gonna have to really scratch this makita battery tonight but uh say it's all tangled up freak man hold on guys please hold on will you hold on a second Two, two, a. Mm -hmm. I gotta take it out of there. I gotta do it. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. Don't die on me. All right. I think we did it, dude. All right. So, like I said, you got your screws in here. Whatever you got, whatever you want to put in here, these will go up, and you can put them on the wall. You know, just put a nail on the wall at the job site or if you have some kind of hook or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Joshua Ryan, when is the question? They've been out a few weeks now and very little of the Gen 2 is in stores yet. October 1st, Joshua Ryan, they're going to start. Uh, everything is available for pre-order. Um, you know, everything that I have, I have the Gen 2. The work light, the 12 volt under hood light has been out for a while. You can get that in the store. The impact wrench, uh, the high torque, October 1st. Um, the ratchet, October 1st. I believe the glue gun, October, not the, the heat gun, excuse me, glue gun. 
the heat gun will be out October 1st. You got this pack out system. So they're coming out. I need them at Home Depot soon, John Hudson. Al Ramos, what's up? Mango Arts. I hope the guys are back on. See, I only have... I don't have as many people on that ROM before, but my freaking phone died. Please come back. Tell them. Tell them to come back. Won't you come back? So they're just going to have to watch the freaking replay then, man. But you got a nice compartment here. Again, we're going to do a nice review. Um, but for now, we're just doing a quick and easy and relaxing unboxing. It slides out. All right. So put her there. I mean, what a system. What a system. And it's red. I do not love red. I love red. And black. All right. Here is... Call me when they get there, boss. That's what's up. Joshua Ryan, 187 ICU. What's up? Boss, that's what up, man. I have like 500 in store credit to use, and I'm trying to hold out. Thanks for the good info. Yeah, Joshua, man. This is something, um, you know, honestly, guys, all kidding aside, you know, like I said, we're having fun. Lunatic Fringe, what's up? You know, this is something, guys, honestly. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are in the trades and stuff, but, you know, for people who intend to use this, you know, very light, um, whatever, home duty, um, you know, weekend warrior type stuff, you know, for the house, new, uh, you're a new homeowner or whatever. Um, you know, this can last you, honestly, for the rest of your freaking life. I mean, it's made to last the durability, even if you're in a trade. I mean, even if this is used every day, I mean, this stuff will literally last forever. Um, the components on it, I mean, you know, it's the the design of it. I, I just absolutely love it. I mean, again, we're going to do it again for you guys. Now, this is the smallest of the hard uh, boxes, guys. You're going to have the small, you're going to have the medium pack out box, and you're going to have the large pack out box. I believe somebody had some prices up, but I'll have a link up uh, below. Uh, if you're interested again, we got totes here Also, uh, here's the small um, Pack out box, you know for your nails and your screws and then they have a bigger one with two compartments and this nice center line 94 GT is back. I'm sorry 94 GT We're gonna get to those wheels 187 a cop and yeah mechanical engineer great quick you got wheels loaded right in the back of the truck um you know, you have a van, easily goes right into the van, um, you know, looks great, but too flashy for me. 94 GT is a negative man. I mean, I thought one day I'd come out to California and just chill with him, like on the beach. Like, just say, hey, dude, let's go down to the beach, man. We'll get some pina coladas, and let's get caught in the rain. You know, we can do... Um, Nope, I like my rigid. You like that rigid crap. Embrace the red 94 GT. All right, so like I said, we're going to open them real, I mean, just, uh, beautiful. And we got the, again, you got your nice handle here. I mean, it's almost like a camouflage in there. And it stays also, so if you want to keep it like in a certain spot, you know, you can kind of, and it'll stay. I'm tapping on it. You want to put it down a little bit. And you can tap, but if you got your handle, it'll click. But before you grab that handle, you just watch. Boom. Not negative. And in person, you would find my views hilarious. I think you're adorable. 94 GT Coupe. This is the same color as the Bauer stuff, 187. So I think Bauer is probably going to come out with their own pack out version, I think. But again, boom. You just press up and you kind of, it's hard to do it one hand, so I'm going to have to, boom. You could do it one hand. It's just really, guys, first time I'm playing with it, you know, you're looking at it, you're I'm playing with it. So we'll leave it like this again. Oh, look at this. Look at the construction and 
just the strength of, I mean, you got real screws in here just to keep the, the strength and the support of these boxes, guys, you know, all kidding aside, just unbelievable. Um, I know, like I said, you guys have seen the cinder blocks dropped on these things, guys. They're that strong. The plastic is some of the plus toughest plastic you're going to see there on, on the market, guys. But, oh, man, I'm beat, and it's so hot. Oh, look at this. Will you take a break and look at this? Oh. And you get cold in the rain. Hmm? What do you think of that, 94 GT? 94 GT, look. Mm-hmm. Hey, Construction Joey, I'm sorry, man. My phone died, but I'm back. Love that. Side handles. Yeah, man. Awesome. Let's see what else we can fit in here. How about some deep woods? Uh, you, you like your beverage? We'll get some water. And how about Mr. Thunder? Hmm? Mr. Thunder. Sending you my address, Brian Fuller. I got a low battery joster. I hope not. I'm on the Makita. So, yeah, you can put some stuff in here, guys. Obviously, uh, you got some trays if you want to, you know, just put. Oh, I'm so thirsty. You mind if I have a drink? I mean, I really need. Uh, hold on. Sorry. You can stare at Mr. Rigid. Stare at the brushless power. Oh, I need a drink. Mmm. finish it right here for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. man what is this refreshing communities what the hell am I drinking here refreshing communities how kind of water is that the hell am I drinking refreshing communities since 1873 Never freaking heard of you, man. 1873. This is like pond water, man. Oh, but it's so good. It's deer piss. No. You know what it is? You're right. It is. It's deer park. Deer park. That's good water. Remember them commercials? Mm. That is good. Deer Park, that's good water. Deer Park, you can, you can, you can. All right, what do we got? Oh man, this is awesome. All right, so let me put Mr. Buggy in there. Take out this piece of crap, stealth. Waste, wasted time there. We'll keep that in there. We'll flip this. We'll do this. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this out of here. Get it out. Get out. Freak, get it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Stack that. Sorry about the camera handles. I'll take that rigid. You don't want that. All right, so you got this nice little box here. Uh, comes in the small box. Again, you got a small, medium, large box. Um, got a couple clips here. You just ooze it open so gently. Like that. And if you want, you got another compartment here. Again, um, you know, great place to put some recip blades. Um, 
you know, stack up your axe, Milwaukee axe blades. Um, you know, put that right on top. Snaps in. You could put some stuff in these trays, and then you got another tray in here. Stacks right on top. Very stackable unit. Um, two trays at each side. One's closed. Um, you got your full. Yeah. Stick them in here like so. And you're good. Oh! Mr. Softies, quick. And you're good to go. Click. Click. Bam. And again. Bam. That's it. And then you want to take her off. Hand her up. Boom. We'll put her right there. Okay. So. Yay! 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 Why is it saying low battery? The freak! Saying low battery, man. All right, now we're getting to the medium box. Probably for the fifth or sixth time. Just got hit by Hurricane Ermel. I can. Oh, you need. Oh, you can use some axe blades. I think it's called Irma, Mister Construction Joey. I know you're a young boy, but it's Irma. You want to hear something funny? What's going on? Like, I don't know if you guys are into like the September twenty third, uh, Revelation twelve sign. Um, you know, it's pretty crazy up there with the um, Jupiter and stuff like that. But we got two hurricanes. Hurricane Jose, which is really close to me right now. Got some winds. It's supposed to do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, then come back and really hit, like, us. Then we got Maria, which devastated Puerto Rico and is headed, I think, for Dominican Republic or, yeah, Cuba. But Maria is Spanish, right? Maria, what is it in English? Huh? What's Maria in English? Lucas. What's Maria? You guys must be educated tool boss freaks, man. You don't even know. Well, 94 GT Coupe, you're going to love this. So Maria... In English or in Spanish it really doesn't matter because they read the Bible in Spanish just like we do yes Bustos 818 Mary okay we got Hurricane Jose I mean it's just pounding like the Long Island Boston you know Hurricane Jose it's there it's gonna loop now what's Jose hmm what's Jose in English Right? Jose. Dennis? Joseph. Luke. Excellent. Now, who were Joseph and Mary? Who were Joseph and Mary? Who were Joseph and Mary? Yes! Good job. Now... Think about it. Huh? Joseph and Mary. September 23rd. The birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And... And, and, yeah. All right, so let's get back to the good stuff. Medium kit. 
All right, same thing. Got your handles here, your little clips. Nice metal with the plastic, hard, tough plastic. Got the Milwaukee logo on it. Again, these are all IP rated. Um, obviously, the, str the strongest you're going to really see out there. You know, cinder blocks being dropped on them. Uh, we've seen all the video. Um, you got a little thing here. You can lock these up also. Um, let's see. Yep. They're also on the uh, small cases with the trays in them. You're going to have a little area to put a little block. Also over here. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you got your big boy. Oh, this is your medium. This is your small. That's what's crazy. I mean, honestly, this is your small. No step. But this is your small, you know, box, guys. And this thing is pretty damn big. Right, we got two drills in here. Again, you can put other stuff in here. I just put two impacts. Um, you know, you got four trays, two on each side. I mean, it's pretty damn big for their smallest tray. All right, let's get to the medium one. I'm really getting sick of you people. I'm tired. It's hot as hell in here. I'm done. Just about freaking done. So we're going to... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Time out. Back up. Beep. 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 Wow. Wowzer. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well that one, let's see. Well, you can fit a six and a half inch wall in the medium. Let's see if we can get that fuel in. I just don't think so. I mean, look at the size difference here. Look at the size difference. Why does it say rotate? I'm just trying to show you. you know, and guys, too, you know, I'm going to do a video on the uh, circular saw because I'm doing a lot of cutting with these. You know, if you're cutting 2 by 4s guys, pretty much, or plywood, you know, the six and a halfs are fine. They're, they're just so much smaller and lighter. Um, I mean, the fuel is awesome. Don't get me wrong. But Milwaukee has a six and a half inch also. I'm just saying in general. But yeah, so you can fit a circular in here or here. This is a nice tray. Again, you know, you want to put a hammer in here, some screwdrivers, um, you know, really whatever you want. You got a nice tray here, totally removable. You know, you want to put it in there. And if you want to put, I bet you now, you got that in there. Oh, whoa. Whoa, sir. How good does it look for 94 GT Coupe? All those dates are screwy anyways. Prophecies translated, retranslated. Yeah, but why not 94 GT Coupe? Why not? Everyone is so negative. It's not going to happen. But what if it, you know, why couldn't it? Is it never going to happen? Maybe it will happen. You know, Rick and Al Ramos... And a Coppin. I wish Cobalt would make something like this. Cobalt doesn't have the engineering to produce something like this. Brian 3. Whoever you are, you're going to ruin this beautiful moment for me. Mention Cobalt. I mean, mm hmm. Why don't you just mention Rigid while you're at it? <laughs> Alright, so the wall can fit that way. And you could fit some recip saws in here, you know. Let's uh, let's bring over Mr. Tasty. Oh, the amount of stuff that you can just put. So you got Mr. Big Boy in there, the high torque. You got a nice. Oh yeah, just fits in there like nobody's business. You want to put some sockets in there. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's clean it up. Let's clean it up tonight. You know? You know what's cool, too? You want to put a little light in here. We're going to put a little light in here. Just like so. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on. 
And then what you do is you just turn the light. Whoa! Turn off the lights. It's pack out system. Oh, yeah. Chris Jones, you missed the whole show. Where were you when I needed you? But yeah, you could put a light in here from grip tools. Boom, if it's dark and then you just click it on. We love it. But yeah, so we'll put that in there. Um, let's see, we got Mr. Roll Gear. Oh, in case you just missed it, Mr. Jones, look at this. They should offer in yellow. Uh, watch this, Mr. Jones. Chris, are you still there? I know you just got here. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shamil, Shamazel, Daffy Incorporated. We're gonna do it. Let us go now. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Doing it our way, huh? there's nothing that we won't try. Doesn't this come down to? I thought this came down. This might come down. I really gotta look into this. I don't know, this seems like this comes down. Does this come down? I don't know. Beautiful. Again, the medium. Uh, the medium will work for a lot of you guys. That's right, Dennis. Joseph. Hey, boss. I have a corner in my shop cleared for the pack out. A cop and perfect. Didn't say absolutely can't or won't. There are no certainties. I'm saying it's highly unlikely. The Walt's the only tough enough to stand against Milwaukee. I'm stuck with Ryobi due to mo money, Colin. Oh, Ryobi's fine. Johnny loves the Walt. 60 Volt is on my list. Cobalt. Oh man, so medium's awesome. Again, you got some great uh, construction on the sides, great support, uh, just really designed with, uh, you know, a high, um, high durability, a high yield, high grade plastic. Just, I mean, you know, once you just, I mean, the plastic is just so thick, guys. Again. I have the video up if you want to check it out. I mean, the amount of weight they're dropping on this. IP rated. We're going to do a full review. This is just an unboxing, having some fun, singing songs, Milwaukee tools I have, sawdust is, yeah, nope, no. Nope. So, again, um, you know, I'm trying to just show you, you know, we looked, Chris, uh, I don't know if Chris Jones is still here. Sawdust is a fire hazard, but Chris, uh, what we did is we had took the small box. Uh, we put some nails here in the small, smaller uh, compartment with the tray, the, the, the uh, tray compartment. Put some uh, three-inch deck screws in here. We shook it. We threw it around. It got tossed and turned. Not one screw came out. Uh, Chris is a big Milwaukee fan, so I'm going to spend a little time real quick. One minute, please. Stand by. You got a nice uh, lock here if you want to put a lock here you got your uh aluminum construction on the side right here for your strength and durability um again you got your metal clips here you open them place for a lock you got your handle you can you know put it really anywhere you want there 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 um here we got some uh impact wrench uh <laughs> impact drivers with a five amp hour battery from the wall got a little uh, compartment here you got four of them one two three this has two a big one one two three however you want to do it you can put a lot of great stuff in here I, like i said this would be a great little case for some recip blades would fit really nice in there um you know stuff like that mowers I got to bring in yet you people really ruined my night ruined it completely all right so that's the small you also have a larger um <coughs> yeah that's right it's a carcinogen Wyobi should 
steel big red battery technology then they would be awesome yeah it would be pretty cool um so you got your small box here again with um double the amount of trays um you got six here six here six here again you can arrange these really any way you want you got a, a slim line down here again maybe some reset blades or something like that uh we went over to totes totes are fantastic probably my favorite part of this is now nah, i don't know uh here's the medium again you got a circular saw in here just a, a couple of gadgets. We got some sockets, lights. Got a couple of uh, ratchet screwdrivers. We got the big boy down there. Um, Isaac, Jonathan Mosley, good to see you. All right, so let's clamp this up and we're gonna do the last one. And the last one has some wheels. Again, Mr. Chris Jones is just joining us. He's a Milwaukee fanatic. Isaac Ayala, what's up? You just stick your finger right there by your the handle and you just push up and you could do it with one hand. And I have all that stuff in there. I have a circular uh, high torque impact wrench sockets and with one hand I was still able to jar it loose. You know? Boom. It's loose. Grab it. Take it by the handle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no. Look at the size of this medium. This is the medium. It is just. And then we got Mr. DeWalt. Maybe we'll throw that inside. And there she is, guys. Look at this handle. I mean, just serious. You know, you know, we had some fun tonight. And we're joking around. Um, but. You know, this is not a review. It's an unboxing, guys. We're having fun. Um, Black lids. Yeah, I think they do open. Again, I got one hand here. Um, it's my first time looking at them. We're going to do a full review on them. We're just having some fun. And we're just looking at the quality and the construction of these boxes. And, you know, I love the DeWalt Tough boxes. But these are just... They're better, man. I hate to say it. But... You know, like I said, we'll have to see in the long run. I've had a lot of success with the Tough system. Again, I've had an, a Tough box on my outdoor trailer. Been through all the elements. You know, made it through all the elements. Winter, or spring, summer, fall. Um, these, definitely a higher grade plastic. I You can't believe it. The handle on... I mean, this is the last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide her... And oh my god, I mean, they distort everything. So I'm kind of like, you know, I'm in a, it's like in like a corner here. So I really can't, like, you know, and these are, these are big, these are heavy. This is a, a big box. And I just went like to grab, and there was a handle here. Look at this. Oh my god. They literally thought of everything. I'm going to fill this up with freaking ice and put some cold beers in here it's a cooler too but look at this i'm gonna pull it out it they really thought of everything guys literally thought of everything with this system so let me pull it out let me just get everything out of the way you're gonna grab it by handle if you want and look at these tires i mean the tires on my freaking push mower are not the quality of these freaking wheels Holy smokes. I mean, what? Are you serious? Are you serious? Holy cow. I mean... Oh my god, it's so dope. You're somebody's construction, Joey. I know you're 12. Stanley Fat Max, you're gonna bring up while... I mean, what is going on in that conversation room? I mean, can you not see this? And you're talking about Stanley Fat Max. Oh, man, the youth. You got some handles on the side, guys. And they're on all of them. You got some handles here. Um, right here, you can grab. Let's take this off. We'll look at the medium. And these things are loaded. I mean, look at that beautiful logo. 
right on there. Nathan Gunther. Yeah, the youth. He's talking about Stanley Femax. I mean, look at the construction, Joey construction. I mean, look at this. Guys, you're going to see this in the stores, hopefully. And if you remember anything about this video, you're going to just notice. I, I've never seen plastic this thick. And it's just... Wow. But this is your big boy, so... Let's see, so I guess you're gonna wanna press this down, or up. I guess this is as low as it goes, so let's bring it up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up. Up, let's see if we can bring it up. How do you bring it up? How do you bring it up? Sorry guys, my first time, but look at that. Look at that metal, oh, look at that metal. I mean, clean, crisp. Now, this is going to slide right back down into the cylinder here. And just, I mean, if you've seen, wow. Now, I mean, this uh, 94 GT Coupe is still here. Um, you've all seen that rigid. And um, come on. Come on. 94 GT Coupe, just say it. The Milwaukee. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, so you got a little place for your lock. All of them have that. I need a good divorce lawyer. My wife will be asking for one when she sees the Home Depot bill. Put it on the card, dude. Colin, put it on the card. Where's all my likes? I got 50 people and 12 likes. Like it. Show me. You love me. Mike K and John Hudson. I like the lid of that car you do 94 gt coupe finally likes something about the pack out system i love you too 94 gt i love you too flips right up nice uh wow whoa a tick I got another tick, work, work, work. I got another tick in my box. That is so cool. And what a great place to buy maybe a four pack when they're on sale. I believe the four packs were on sale for a certain amount, but uh, that's an awesome surprise. But what a good spot to put one of the ticks. You know, find a nice spot, you know, like right here. Because it kind of blends in a little bit with the black. And, you know, you'll have a nice little anti-theft type um, system on there. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That is absolutely awesome. Awesome. All right, so got a nice little tray here. And this is where you just got a lot of... Plenty of room. People asked if you were going to have room for a recip. No doubt. Fits in there. Again, you're not going to be able to do this with certain boxes. Um, I believe 94 GT Coupe has the rigid. I'm not sure if you can fit one in there. Um, let's have some fun. I want to have some fun. Shake my body all night long. Huh? Who sings that? Oh, yeah. I mean, a huge circular saw. Seven and a quarter inch. Um, DeWalt. DeWalt. And then we're going to bring in, yeah, Mr. Rigid. No problem. No problem. Awesome. One of the box earlier had a groove for the tick cover yeah you know what yeah see i think these things open man maybe they don't again you have a rubber gasket here uh that's to protect it uh make these pretty much waterproof uh the tough system has this i believe the rigid system has it uh 94 gt coupe can comment on that i'm pretty sure it does but again i want to point that out again we're going to do a full review of this guys but 
Um, I did want to tell you that they're all going to have that. Let's just see if the small, I see it already. You see this black gasket? You can see it right through. Make these systems 100% waterproof. And it, they do work, guys, because I've had that DeWalt tough system. And I never had one drop of water in mine. But, yep, you have the rubber gasket in all of these boxes from the Milwaukee Packout system. Yeah, great organizer. Uh, again, there's two sizes. Um, you know, the small one has six trays in it. You can really move them wherever you want. Uh, the bigger one has 12. So if you get both of them, you're going to have 18 trays. Should be plenty. Again, these trays come out. If you want to hang them on the wall, you know, just, you know, put a nail on the wall and these will hang up. Um, I already have two recip saws, a, a big seven and a quarter inch Milwaukee Fuel circular saw, and there's still plenty of room in here. Um, you know, we can put Mr. Frosty. So we have an impact wrench, two recips, a circular. Let's go more, man. What do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? How about a impact all right, so, yep, we got an impact in there. Yep, mm-hmm, that's right. Yeah, and dance all night long. You might need a flashlight. It is dark at night. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. And just and and way and but and I need to my way and stay. I'm sorry. So sorry. All right. Sorry. All right, we got a light in there. Um, how about a angle grinder? Let's put Mr. Angle Grinder. My wife is looking at me like, what the... I mean, what? She doesn't like Annie, Kevin? Perez, the electrician? She doesn't like Annie? I mean... Really? Let's put in Mr. Angle Grinder. All right, so we got a whole bunch of tools in here. We got an angle grinder, got a high torque impact wrench, a circular saw, two recips, a impact driver, and a flashlight. Six tools and still plenty of room. I mean, we can go way more. I could probably fit my chainsaw in here, but we're not gonna do it. Close it up. Play Mr. Click. So uh, let's go back and look. Again, we're going to look at the hard cases. We got six tools in here a circular, two recips, impact wrench, impact driver, angle grinder, flashlight. We got in here a circular, an impact wrench, and we can fit more. I'm just saying, you know, if whatever. And we have two impact drivers and some sockets and some, you know, a light and a couple uh, ratchet screwdrivers in there. You know, guys, and this is just the hard stuff. Uh, we got the totes also. Um, you know, we're obviously having some fun here tonight. I wanted to have fun tonight. I mean, let's have fun. It's so bad to have fun, is it? Come on, really? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it so bad? Is it, is it, is it so bad to have some fun? You got some handles. Boom. On the side. Again, you got some aluminum uh, supports along all these hard cases, um, these toolboxes. Again, uh, the tires, nothing's come close to these guys. Um, you know, we'll do a full review. We'll get everything. Got the large tote. Uh, just like the boxes, you have a large tote. You have a medium toe uh, with strap. All of them have a strap padded with the Milwaukee logo. And you have a small one right here. You've got some screwdrivers in there. 
Guys, I know it was a long night. This was 44 minutes. The first one was probably 44 minutes. Um, I really appreciate all you guys watching tonight, spending some time with me, you know, have some fun. That's what we were doing. Uh, you can just look out here. I got to really pack this stuff up and I got to bring my mowers in. But guys, I appreciate you coming in tonight. And yeah, I was nobody messing with Milwaukee's new line. I mean, guys, seriously, again, we've had some fun. This system is absolutely amazing. And I'm not, you know, you have to, it's the best, but you have to use common sense. Is, you know, this going to work out? Is it worth the money to go into this system over a rigid or a um, DeWalt? type uh storage system stackable system um you know bosch has one makita has one also to be honest with you i think the makita and the bosch are kind of in a second tier i really think the milwaukee the dewalt and the rigid are probably the top three I, you know it's close the bosch and the rigid i would probably put eh. and the makita is very much like the bosch also um, I really haven't had too much experience with the Makita boxes, to be honest with you. Um, they're very expensive. I think they did come down in price a little bit, but they were very expensive for what you got. Uh, the Bosch are very expensive also. So the, the, the grade of plastic and the IP rating and just the amount of storage and the organizers and the totes and the wheels and tires and it's just a great system guys um but if you know it's something that i wouldn't go crazy with and maybe buy everything at one time totally up to you if you can use it you want to get it done there's a there's a probably a better deal it's probably going to kind of maybe they have a thing where they put it all together totally up to you but it's something you can start with small maybe buy a tote a small tote and a medium organizer or a medium or large or um tote with a small organizer um it's something that you can build um you know along the years and you know definitely add to your pack out system add to your tool um collection or your 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 platform whatever it is and guys you can be in the makita platform you can be in the dewalt platform bosch rigid ryobi and still go to this pack out system you know it, it's the best out there um, it's going to hold up. Um, it's the strongest. It's it's built like the thing I've seen. Um, you know, what am I going to say? Am I going to say it stinks? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think that. And I think you guys, you know, people might not like the wall. They might not like Milwaukee. They might not like Makita. But you have to use common sense. Uh, th this system is fantastic. Um, but... Again, you might like the DeWalt or the Rigid or Bosch Makita better. You have to price them out. You have to see what's most feasible for you. But that's it, guys. Again, I appreciate you coming in tonight and watching, spending some time with Tubos. Um, I love all yous, and I hope everyone uh, is doing good across this globe, whether it be hurricane, um, flooding, earthquakes, uh, we had a Mex another earthquake in Mexico, um, hurricane in Puerto Rico. I mean, every time I'm on here, there's another natural disaster. Um, maybe tomorrow we might have another one. I mean, it's getting crazy out there, people. But um, no matter what happens, I love you all. And from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of you guys every single one so yes nine inch tires yes Logan house blew up in LA 187 ICU wow no problem Johnny you know we have fun and I hope you guys had some fun you know we're gonna fool around once in a while can't be serious all the time you know if you want that you know, check out real tool reviews. Real tool reviews. Not fake, but real. Here we're going to act dopey, idiot, D, and derpy, and drippy, and poopy, and doppy. But seriously, guys, thank you. 
Yep, real nice Milwaukee. Jeff, 94 GT, thanks. 94 always stays from the start to beginning, unless he's got dinner, like Jamie. Where's Jamie Akata? Kevin Perez likes that. Hey, so Jack Martins, what's up, Johnny? Sing some more Annie. No, people, like, Kevin Perez was like, what the... I mean, all right. Maybe it was a little off color, but, I mean... That's how I sing Annie. Sun will come out. I stay from the start of beginning here in my oh, construction, Joey. That is awesome. I appreciate that. Milwaukee tapes. The 16 feet, Jack, stay away from. They're cheap. I mean, you get two for 12 bucks. I mean, you get what you pay for. They'll work for a little while. They're going to bend on you and crease, but, you know... I'll tell you one I really love. Uh, I'll have to show it to you. Camelon. Chameleon. I don't know. It's a blue one. I got it from the Get It to Work people. Freaking awesome. It's a stainless steel tape measure. Freaking love it, man. All right, got yeah. But I say for beginning the end, uh, I keep, it's Construction Joey. I appreciate you watching. I know it's late. And I appreciate your parents letting you watch. Um, tonight I was a little wacky. We're gonna we get mostly we're serious on this, but today was just one of those days, and um, really tired and just going nuts tonight. But um, I appreciate everybody watching. All right, I gotta get out of here because I gotta bring those mowers in and stuff. But serious, I love you guys. Peace out. Later.